So let's talk about the in-app features. Whenever you're inside of a written post, on the right, you'll see this amazing section. We have an SEO section, a research section, media, and then a history timeline of who and when they worked on this piece. So if we start with the first tab, SEO, first of all, we have our title, our URL, and our meta description. This is all written by the tool, so it's all original. You have an original meta, and this syncs directly to your website if you integrate at the project level. So if you download the WordPress plugin, you install that on your site, all of this syncs directly to your Yoast or your Rank Math SEO plugin, whichever you use. So down here, we have our optimization score. This is a one to 100 score based on the SEO optimization of the entire piece. How well is it optimized? And then over here, we have stats, which show us what we need to do to make this better. So it looks like we need to decrease the amount of words. We need to go through it, cut some content out, and we need to add more media, more images, screenshots. We also need to decrease the amount of links. There's a lot of links going on in this piece, and we need to go according to the checklist, which is the second tab in SEO. So this is your on-page checklist, literally a step-by-step -step guide on what to do to hit your main points. You need to pick a category, make sure the title is a little bit shorter. So if you or a writer go through this and optimize it, you can use our craft framework, right? But you can really just follow this for the SEO part of making this piece better. The notes section, you can add notes if you have team members working on this piece. If we scroll down under the optimization score, we have our keywords. So let me explain how this works. The number on the right hand side after the dash is a real time number that Continent Scale comes up with after looking at what's ranking in the top of Google. So the top pieces in Google right now for this keyword, best AI marketing tools. The keyword appears in the article 15 to 47 times. So we want to hit around the minimum of 15. Sometimes if it's 10, 13, 14, as long as it's within that minimum range, a few numbers off is okay. But it's only in here two times. So we need to get closer to that baseline minimum. And that's something a writer can do from a human perspective. Our tool will continue to get better and better at this. So your work will go down. But right now, you still need that human touch to go through this, optimize it with the right keywords. The keywords in green are the keywords that are properly optimized enough times. So we just need to go through this and optimize it. In the research tab, we can rerun the post. That doesn't cost a credit if you don't like it. You don't like what you see, you can have it completely rewrite and it's always original content. You can see what's ranking in the top of Google in the ranking content section. You can go to plagiarism and check for any duplicate content. This is a direct API call to Copyscape, which usually costs 25 cents or more just to run that. So that's included. The paid version of Copyscape is included in our tool. You also have an in-app AI detector. You can click detect and it'll tell you how likely all of this content is to be human, to read human, sound human. The predictability, the probability, and the pattern. And this is a highly accurate AI detector even though all AI detectors are trained on human writing. So in the end, they don't truly know if it's robot or human, they're only predicting word strings. The better the word strings, the more human it sounds. So in the media tab, we can upload a featured image here, or we can select a royalty free image from an existing built in gallery. Over here in the history tab, we can see a timeline of who worked on this piece and when.